One thing that's better in Japan are their toilets. I would sort of explain it, but I think I'm just going to show you because there is a lot happening on Japanese toilets. There's definitely no experience like going to the bathroom on a Japanese toilet. It is the most pleasant thing and I think everyone should have a Japanese toilet. I don't know why they don't exist really elsewhere. And toilets are like this everywhere. In train stations, in the airport, everywhere. One thing about Japanese bathrooms is usually the toilet is separate from the washroom. So this is the sink and the shower and bath. So those are usually separate from the actual toilet, which is nice. So this is the toilet room. This is the toilet. So in Japan, a lot of times they have separate bathroom slippers so you don't get dirty. The toilet is pretty high tech. It looks sort of like a normal toilet. And then you have this panel. So this panel has a million buttons on it. The Japanese toilets are like bidets. So they shoot water up your butt basically, but it's good because it keeps you clean and also you can dry it so you don't actually have to use toilet paper if you don't want to but they have toilet paper, don't worry. So these are the different options. This is Oshiri for your butt. This is just like a softer version. This is a bidet dryer. These are how strong you want your water to shoot out. And there's just so many options. And this is just to turn it off. As much as I wanna show you how this shoots water out, I sort of can't because it would shoot me in the face. You need like a butt on it or something on it to prevent the water from like spraying out on everything in the bathroom. So make sure you're sitting on it and try it out. Don't like push the button and see what happens because it'll literally just shoot straight out of the toilet everywhere. So the other ones are a little bit bigger, have more options and also have an option that we don't have, which is for music so it'll play like noises or like you know what running water or music sometimes so that way if you're going to the bathroom in public people won't be able to hear you this toilet is sensor operated so it'll flush on its own open on its own and close on its own and most toilets also have heated seats which is so nice for your bum and then you have the flushing options big flush little flush eco flush this one is censored however so it actually just flushes on its own but if you hit these earlier then it'll you could choose which flush you want you're probably wondering what is up with this tank and why is there a towel in here so i will show you you can flush it <laughs> And the water comes out of this. So you can wash your hands actually. And then it'll use the water that you wash your hands with, go into the tank and use that to flush your toilet. So it's actually very good for the environment. So honestly, Japanese toilets are amazing. If you go to Japan, make sure to use the features on it because it's just, it's so nice to sit on a warm toilet and then be able to just actually feel clean after, like really clean, you know it's clean. So yeah, definitely try it out. A lot of people love it. Don't be scared, but make sure you're sitting on it and don't push the buttons if you're not sitting on it. All right, that's it for this one. Thank you for joining me and see you next time. Matane.